Hey everyone, it's Chris from chrislahay.com. Thanks so much for tracking down and finding this and viewing this video. It's on the topic of finding expired domains for free. Uh, this is a great tool that I have been using for a lot of years. And the video came, came about through a recent uh, Google Hangout with some other internet marketers. They were asking what tools I use, and this is probably my favorite. And again, it's absolutely free, so the price is right. Uh, if you go to expireddomains.net, uh, absolutely free site, you'll come up to a page like this. And to get right into the, the meat and potatoes of this video, uh, if there's a keyword or keyword phrase term that you're looking to find expired domains on, you just simply type it in the the search bar here, and it's going to show you all the different domains that are out there. So anything that's deleted, uh, those are expired domains that are deleted and ready to go. They have some aftermarket stuff like GoDaddy and uh, Cito and um, Snap names. There's things that you can do to... Um, back order certain domains if they're coming up for expiry. So I'm going to just do a random uh, random test here. Uh, since I had pasta for lunch, let's just take a look and see what's available for pasta. So when you first start out, you're going to see that um, you there are some filters, but I'm just going to show you the unfiltered to, to show you some of the things that come up. Um, so for pasta, there's 1,471 domains currently available at various states of expiration. Uh, one of the best sorting tools that I take a look at is you can actually sort by PR and that's Google PageRank and as you can see there are some different colors so uh, just hovering over red means the PR looks fake so unless it's a fantastic domain you're gonna probably want to stay away from it yellow means it couldn't ver couldn't validate it so it may be good it may not be good again proceed with caution and then there is the uh, green which is uh, legitimate page rank. Now some of the other things that this tool shows you is backlinks. Um, so you can take a look and see who's built backlinks for certain domains. Uh, you can see uh, the domain pop, uh, about what year it was registered, Alexa ranking if it has it, um, your DMAs. Then when you get over in this, the other one that I really use a lot is global monthly searches. So you can see if there is some, uh, if they're searching for it. Now look at this great domain, pasta.ca. Everything looks fine and dandy. Oh, it's $3,000. So might not be within your budget. Uh, there are different things uh, available to you. So what I like to do is show filters because if I find a domain, I want to use it right away. So uh, we're going to put it as contains pasta. And we're just going to go with .coms. That's my favorite top level domain extension I try to stay away from everything else and over here you can select what exactly you want to search for so deleted domains means domains that are expired expired and deleted available for registration in most cases right away GoDaddy domains are aftermarket programs so some times you can pick up stuff that's cheap other times as you saw here it costs you three thousand I've seen domains in like a hundred and twenty thousand dollar range so um, if you have a big budget, it might be a great way to find something. Uh, pending delete domains, that means they've expired, but they haven't deleted. They're sort of in a grace period, so they're not quite ready. Uh, Namejet and snap names are generally domains that are almost ready to be expired, and they want you to back order them. And then Cedo domains is another aftermarket. So I'm just going to go with deleted domains. I'm going to apply my filter. And then I'm going to sort it based on PR. Now, one of the things you'll see is if your keyword has something, uh, like if it, it can be deciphered as something else, then you might have something like this, Past America, which I have no idea what it is, but it almost sounds like history. Uh, so taking a look, so there's Dakota Pasta. Now that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to see if it's available for uh, registration. You can click this register button, um, but I believe it takes you to GoDaddy. I like to use Dynadot. So I'm going to do a quick search on Dynadot to see if it's available. And as it comes up, yes, Dakota Pasta is available for $9.99. The other thing I like to do is go to archive.org just to make sure any domain that I'm interested in hasn't been used for purposes that might deter um, from your intended use. Now, 
namely, I've registered some domains that I thought were really cool, and it turns out they were adult sites. And I doubt Dakota Pasta was an adult site, but I'm just going to take a look at the archive. And there's one snapshot available, and it is a 302 redirect uh, to artisanitalian.com, which I'm expect. Okay, yeah, so it's it's a pasta recipe site. So if I was really interested in Dakota pasta, this is probably something that I, I would scoop up. Uh, now, the one thing that I do do when I'm doing my keyword research is if I find a domain that is really cool, um, I will spend the $10 and register it before I get in too deep into my keyword research because there's been so many times that I found a domain that I thought was cool. A couple days later, I start doing keyword research. So three or four days after I originally find this cool domain, I really want it and I go back and it's scooped. So uh, save yourself some time. Grab, take, spend the 10 bucks if, if it's something that you think you're going to be interested in. I mean, if worse comes to worse, you can always try and flip the domain or just let it expire like all these people did. So hope this video helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Would appreciate a like um, if the, you found this video useful. And uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for, for viewing the video.